This video highlights the basics of how to use the ProFlame 2 remote control included with every ArchGuard fireplace or fireplace insert that comes with electronic ignition. We'll start with some of the basics before moving on to a couple of advanced features. Each of the items will be broken down into chapters so that you can jump to the section you are looking for. ArchGuard fireplaces come standard with the wall mountable remote control as seen in this video, but the steps are identical for the optional handheld remote. The on-off button. The on-off button is used to turn the fireplace on and off. When pressing the button, a single beep from the control module in the fireplace will indicate that the signal has been received. If you hear multiple beeps, please check the batteries in the control module. If you do not hear a beep and the fireplace does not light, the control module may not have received the signal. Try moving closer to the fireplace if you are not nearby. Also try removing any devices that emit a signal which may be located between the remote control and the module, such as a Wi-Fi transmitter. If the remote appears to be on but the fireplace is off, cycle the remote off and back to on again. If your fireplace is equipped with dynamic start advantage, the fireplace will start on low. After two minutes, the flame will modulate automatically to high or wherever it has been set on the remote control. During those two minutes, you will not be able to manually modulate the flame. However, you can modulate the fan speed or lighting. The thermostat button. Pressing the thermostat button will enable thermostat mode. In thermostat mode, the remote control acts as a typical thermostat. Use the up and down arrows to set your desired temperature. When the temperature at the remote hits your desired temperature, the burner in the fireplace will turn off. When the temperature at the remote drops below your desired temperature again, the burner in the fireplace will reignite. In thermostat mode, you can modulate the flame and fan speed, but there will be a delay in the fan turning on and off. Pressing the thermostat button a second time will enable smart thermostat mode. In smart thermostat mode, the flame will modulate to maintain the temperature set on the remote. In smart thermostat mode, you cannot modulate the flame manually. You can modulate the fan speed, but there will be a delay in the fan turning on and off. Pressing the thermostat button a third time will return the fireplace to manual control. The mode button. The mode button is used to toggle between the features included with your ArchGuard fireplace. This may include flame height or intensity, six levels of comfort fan, if equipped, six levels of accent lighting, also if equipped, and split flow control, if equipped. The features of your fireplace will be configured on the remote at the factory prior to shipping. If an option is included with your fireplace but does not appear on the remote, see our video on enabling or disabling options on the remote in the description below. Every time the mode button is pressed, a new feature will be highlighted on the display window of the remote control. You may then use the up and down arrows to adjust that feature. For example, you can adjust the intensity of the flame, how bright the accent lighting is, and the intensity of the fan. Advanced Options Key Lock The ProFlame 2 remote control includes the option to lock the remote to prevent unsupervised operation. To activate the key lock, simultaneously press the Mode button and Up arrow. A lock icon will appear in the upper left corner of the display on the remote control. To deactivate the key lock, simultaneously press the Mode button and Up arrow again. The lock icon will disappear. Temperature Units The ProFlame 2 remote control is pre-configured to display Fahrenheit. You may change to Celsius by performing the following actions. Starting with the fireplace off, simultaneously press and hold the thermostat button and mode button. The temperature units shown on the display on the remote control should change from Fahrenheit to Celsius. CPI IPI Selection ArchGuard fireplaces are configured for intermittent pilot ignition at the factory. 
There are some benefits to both IPI or CPI, or Continuous Pilot On Demand Ignition. See the user manual included with your fireplace for more information. To switch from IPI to CPI mode, perform the following actions. Starting with the fireplace off, press the mode button. You may then use the up and down arrows to toggle to CPI or back to IPI. The mode will be shown on the display on the remote control. This option may be disabled in some jurisdictions based on local code. In CPI mode, the pilot will turn off if the main burner has not been ignited within seven days. To start the cycle over, simply relight the fireplace.